our poem for today, our poem for this term will be a poison tree. Let us begin with the first stanza. I was angry with my friend. I told my wrath, my wrath did end. I was angry with my fool. I told it not, my wrath did grow. First, if we will notice the word wrath in the second line, it's meaning anger. The word fool in the last line meaning enemy. So our poet compares two of his life experiences with anger and fury. Anger and fury. One time when he was angry with his friend, he spoke to him about it. He spoke about his anger, what I mean. His anger disappeared and he became fine as he had spoken. You have to notice one thing, that our poem has a moral lesson, a moral lesson. So one time when he was angry with his friend, he spoke to him about it, his anger disappeared. As you see in the green color, angry, spoke, disappeared misunderstanding was taking place. The other time, when he was angry with his enemy, he kept it and didn't speak about it. So the result is what? His anger increased more and more. So if we'll have a look. One time he was angry with his friend. He spoke to him about it. His anger disappeared. He became fine as he had spoken. The other time when he was angry with his enemy, he kept it, didn't speak, his anger increased. So it's very clear. One time with his friend spoke, disappeared about the anger. The other time in the red color, angry with enemy, didn't speak, so the anger increased. Figures of speech, number one, we have here alliteration. I told my wrath, my wrath did end. The repetition of the letter M in my and the letter W in wrath creates or makes a musical sound. Number two, we have a metaphor. I told it not, my wrath did grow. His anger becomes more and more because he didn't speak. The second stanza. And I watered it in fears, night and morning with my tears. And I sunned it with smiles and with soft, deceitful ones. Before the paraphrase, we have to remember one thing. For the growth of the plant, what do we need? Sunshine and water, the green color, sunshine and water. Time. What do we need for anger to be increased? Tears and fears. So, Let's see. The poet compares his anger to a plant. He compared his anger to a plant whose gross no more depended on tears and fears instead of sunshine and water. This comparison gives us an impression of how strong it is. This comparison gives us an impression of how strong it is. This growing plant has a positive concept as a symbol of life. It is ironic that a grown plant is being compared to a growing angle. Right. That is part of phrase beta. In figures of speech, and the alliteration, and I summed it with smiles. Summed the letter S, we smiled the letter 
S. يبقى repetition of the letter S. Same time, and then and with the soft deceitful while the repetition of the letter W with we while. يبقى this creates a musical sound. Number two, we have a metaphor. The first three lines, I will tell it again, have an extended metaphor. Extended metaphor. As the poet compares his anger to a plant whose growth depended on tears and fears. Third stanza. And it grows both day and night. Fell it poor and apple pride, and Mafu beheld the child, and he knew that it was mine. The second line we have poor, poor him meaning produced. اللي هو مبنزر عزارة في النهاية بينتج بيسمر ال الثمرة النهائية. يبقى poor meaning produced. The third line we have beheld. Behold, in present simple, behold, it's a poetic word, meaning so. بستخدم الفرب ده في الشعر بس. Behold, meaning so. Let's see our paraphrase. The poet's anger is continued to grow. He waters his anger both at night and in the morning. He gives it sunshine in the day. Time. At last, his anger produces a big and beautiful apple. Beautiful apple. Okay. His enemy, Melo, sees it, likes it, and wants to take it. This shows that the hatred became more and more. If the poet's anger continued to grow, he watered his anger both at night and in the morning. He gives it sunshine in the daytime till his end produces a, a big and beautiful love. His enemy, Melo, sees it, likes it, and wants to take it. This shows that the hatred became more and more. Figures of speech. Number one, metaphor, and it grows both day and night. The metaphor here is the growth. The growth is the metaphor. The process of the growth of the growth of anger. The process of the growth of anger. Number two, metaphor, solid, poor, and apple pride. The apple. Here, <coughs> sorry. The apple. The apple is the metaphor. Is they for the end result of one's great anger. Number three, alliteration. The repetition of the letter E in the words N and double. The repetition of the letter P in the words poor and pride. Malhum makes a musical sound. We'll move to. The symbols in this stanza. Layer third. And then apple. One, then a symbol. They are not. Let's see. The apple. It is a symbol of the speaker's anger, which grows until produces a poisonous apple that kills his enemy. Number two, day and night, symbol of that growth. Of the poet's anger shows that the growth of anger has a negative effect on our lives forever. Fourth stanza. And into my garden stole when the night had built the pole. In the morning, glad I see my foot outstretched beneath the tree. The paraphrase. The enemy saw this apple in the poet's garden. So uh, he stole it. <laughs> he stole it at night. Like a thief. The enemy. 
eats the other thinking. He stole something delicious, which results killing him because it is full of hatred and anger. The poet's anger was deadly. The tune goes from being stressed to being calm. Figures of speech, metaphor, and into my garden stall. The garden is the metaphor for the place in our mind where we let our anger grow and become destructive. So <coughs> if we'll have a quick look, first stanza, the poet compares two of his life experiences with anger and fear. One time, angry with his friend, spoke, the anger disappeared, became fine. The other time he was angry with the enemy, he didn't speak. The anger increased, became more and more. Second one. The poet compares his anger to a plant whose growth depended on tears and fears instead of sunshine plant. A plant needs, needs sunshine and water to grow. Anger needs tears and fears to grow. He compares his anger to a plant whose growth depended on tears and fears instead of sunshine and what? This comparison gives us an impression of how strong it is. This crown plant has a positive concept as a symbol of it. Third distance, his anger continued to grow. Zay, he waters his anger pulse at night and in the morning. Water is his anger goes at night and in the morning. Yani mazel dimegu shagela. It tears will fears shagela lil nohar. He gives it sunshine in the daytime. El anger sunshine. Mahna olna no hoa compare el anger the plant. At last his anger produces a big and beautiful apple. El amale na hai abtan mo nabe. We el gadab na hai tu. His enemy sees it, likes it, and wants to take it. This shows the hatred became more and more, and became strong. The force is standard. The force stands. The enemy saw this apple in the poet's garden. So, He stole it at night. He, he said, thinks he stole something delicious, but killing him because it is full of hatred and anger. So the poet's anger was deadly. Uh, with the last uh, stanza, later we will inform all of you if first and second stanza will uh, be saved by heart or not, later we will tell all of you on your class groups. Thank you so much.